welcome children hope you all are waiting for the next part of lesson ear to ear so this is part 2 lesson ear to ear subject evs in class 4 hope you all enjoyed part 1 of this lesson before we start part 2 let's know what you have learned in part 1 in the previous part that is part 1 you have learned about the sense organs and their functions then you have learned the importance of ears and its function like ears are to hear or listen then we discussed about those animals whose ears we can see and related to that you saw a small video of different animals in part 1 we discussed the four main points first ear of different animals in this you observe different animals but the ears of these animals are not same second ears of different shape and size in this you came to know about different animals with ears of different shape and size in third then we learned about mammals animals with different skin in this you learned about different animals with different type of skin then we learned about the wild animals pet animals and domestic animals now moving to the second part of this lesson ear to ear we will learn about the animals whose ears we cannot see but they all have ears in this part you will learn about the birds here are some points which we are going to discuss in this part about the birds first point is ears of birds as the name of the lesson is ear to ear a bird has tiny holes on both side of its head the holes are generally covered with feathers and because of this we cannot see them next point birds with different feathers all birds have different type of feathers and they are of different colors third point birds with different shape and size if you see the birds all the birds are not same their size differs some birds are big some birds are small they also have different size of feathers and ears looks like very small holes and the fourth point is birds lay eggs 
all the birds they lay eggs they hatch the eggs for the babies they do not give birth like mammals so let's begin with a small video to make it more clear here you will see the video of some birds Let's learn the names and sounds of different birds. Robin Cardinal Goldfinch Pigeon Woodpecker Eagle Bold Eagle Pheasant Macau Owl Peacock Hen Rooster Ostrich Children, how's the video? Do you like it? Oh yes! Every day in our day-to-day -day life, while playing in the park, sometime when you are going out and in your surroundings, you see different type of birds. Some common birds, can you name? Pigeon, Parrot, Mena, Bulbul, Peacock and so on. Few of the birds which we cannot see, we can see in the zoo, in the picture chart, in the cartoon movies, or in the books. So with this, you get familiar with the birds. But when you see a bird, a question comes, where are the ears of birds as they listen also and when we observe them their ears are not visible so those animals who do not have ears on their body they lay eggs for example hen duck lizard etc they do not give birth to the 
young ones they hatch the eggs a bird ear a bird has tiny holes means very small holes on both side of its head next point the holes are generally covered with feathers and these holes are very small they help the bird to hear you can see in the picture animals like lizard also have tiny holes on the head but we cannot see them easily now have a look to these pictures peacock this is a picture of a peacock with beautiful feathers and is also known as a national bird but we cannot see its ears as the ears are like hole and are very small because they are covered with the beautiful feathers this is the picture of a pigeon children pigeon are very common to see nearby your surroundings its ears are also not visible we cannot see them this is the picture of an ostrich a very big size bird and is also known as flightless bird the meaning of flightless bird is it cannot fly even the size of the ostrich egg is very big next picture is of crow a very common bird which you can see nearby you and is also have ears but we cannot see this is the picture of a parrot with red beak and green body do you remember its sound are you able to see its ears its ears are under the feathers and of a small hole size like this you have seen many other birds some more birds are there and we cannot see their ears because their ears are very small and are under the feathers but they listen with the ears so children all the birds have feathers on their body and hollow bones which separates them from all other living animals different birds make different sound they lay eggs they hatch the egg if i ask question what is the difference between a mammal and a bird can you differentiate yes about mammal they have ears on their body to which we can see them but in birds they have tiny holes on their body and we cannot 
see them easily. In mammals, they have different type of skin and birds have different type of feathers. Animals, they give birth to the young ones. Birds, they lay eggs to which they hatch for babies. Mammals cannot fly but birds can fly. So children, there is lot of difference between the animals whose ears you can see and whose ears you cannot see. Here I am talking about birds. Can you see their ears? But they all have ears. We cannot see them. Can you name these birds? Cock, sparrow, parrot, duck and crow. So, now it's time for worksheet. First question Different animals have different ears. Here some names of animals are given and you have to write separately in two columns. First one is animals whose ears you can see and in the second column you can write animals whose ears we cannot see. Answer animal whose ears we can see are deer, tiger, pig, cat, buffalo, giraffe, elephant. Animals whose ears we cannot see are frog, sparrow, duck, lizard, fish, ant, snake and crow. Question 2. Observe the picture and write the name. First one is parrot. Second is pigeon. Now, next question. Name the national bird of India. You see the picture and write the name. It's peacock. Next, name the bird which cannot fly and is the largest bird. It's ostrich. In the crossword, you have to find the names of birds. You can encircle them with a pencil or pencil colors. Make your own bird with the help of paper folding. Hope children, you enjoyed this part and soon we will meet in the next part that is part 3. Thank you.